right, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys uh, how to operate one of these uh, hidden uh, hidden camera lighters from eBay. I'll um, link a general search for these on in the description. So these are usually five to ten bucks. This is the cheapest mod uh, model. Uh, films in AVI, so that's not the best format nowadays, but it does look quite decent. So for five bucks, no worries. So the camera's here on the bottom. Uh, so as you might have seen, it does come with some instructions, but these are usually bullshit, and this makes absolutely no exception. So what you'll want to do for this uh, is uh, stick in a uh, micro SD card. So I have a very cute 128 megabyte one here. Uh, you'll want to format this uh, in obviously FAT32, and um, see, I did have some problems with this one, so I did have to reformat it like two times. I don't know exactly why, but. Um, so also make sure it's charged so you'll probably get it super discharged when it, when it arrives so once you have charged it and have a properly formatted card you should expect the following behavior from it as described by this finite state machine so um now it's off right the led is is off and uh, the way you can prove this is uh, check this is to short press the button so nothing happens, so then that means we're in the off state over here. So we can plug it into USB and get into to USB mode to actually read the read the contents of the of the stick of the card, or we can long press and we expect a long blink and a short blink. If your card's not properly formatted, you'll get just a very long blink. Uh, for example. So this is the long blink. And we're expecting the short blink, so something is, is off. So let's see, I did get it to work a few seconds ago, so this is quite finicky in here. Seems clean enough, right? I don't know. I still, for five bucks, it's still a pretty good deal, even with the odd malfunction. Although, to be honest, I'm, it only seems to malfunction when the camera's on, right? So I don't know, it's a bit shy. Right, let's get this pop back in and let's see. All right, so we had the long blink and the short blink and now it's in audio activated mode. So now if you, for example, knock it, it'll start recording. So I might actually put the video of this up somewhere here above. And uh, yeah, so check out my cool tripod. Anywho. So now we are video recording, right? So short press should stop us and bring us to standby. So let's see. And that is correct. Now we're in standby. So now sound activation no longer is uh, no longer applies. Um, and yeah, so we can basically short press and take a photo. And that'll look like that. So it does take quite a while. This it's like a single chip inside. We're actually going to take it apart in a, in a little bit. It's one single chip that does the camera, does the microphone, and does the USB and the micro SD. So it's quite a futuristic thing. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all. So feel free to pause and, and check this. I'll I'll link a video to the photo if you want to print this out nicely. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's just very quickly take it apart because man, I don't know, that is always nice. So it is glued in, so you just want to pull at it. Not too violently, but also not too lightly. So slowly but surely it will come apart. There we are. There we go. So that's how it looks inside actually not that bad so and the cells like 70 milliamps or something so it's not too bad at all and we actually do have another chip this I believe is an op ham for the for the microphone I think I'm not sure see I did glue this a bit I put put a bit of epoxy here so the stick doesn't go in too far but it's not completely necessary so yeah have fun with it and uh, yeah have a good one